everybody. My name is Lexi. It's good to meet y'all. Ah, welcome. Welcome. We'll, uh, we'll see what this is going to be. Not 100% sure yet. I just have an idea and I like rock music. So I hope that you'll join me. I'm hoping that this is going to end up being a channel where we can just talk about new releases. We can talk about our favorite bands, etc. And uh, hopefully we'll find some common ground. So I figured today, what better day to get this show started than uh, to talk about Spotify Wrapped. So if y'all listen to Spotify, you know that every year Spotify comes up with your Wrapped. <laughs> Which, funny, funny term, but whatever. <laughs> um, so I like everybody else in the world that listens to Spotify. Uh, I got my Spotify rep today. So I've got a couple of the like top songs, top tracks, top artists that I figured would probably be a good idea to share with you all uh, to try and get a taste of what type of music that I like. Now granted too, we all know this, uh, a lot of times, you know, we get in a funk or we kind of get into this groove where we just end up listening to whatever, you know, five or six songs. <laughs> I actually saw um, something on YouTube the other day that was talking about how Spotify, uh, their algorithm works or doesn't work. Uh, so again, if you listen to Spotify, you know that usually you kind of end up listening to the same like 10 or 15 songs uh, on repeat for quite some time. So while these are my most listened to, these are kind of just categorically the ones that I listen to the most. Uh, that also doesn't mean that this is all that I listen to. Um, eventually, we'll probably do maybe in the next episode or video that we end up doing, I'll probably actually uh, be talking about some of my favorite bands. So again, while this is just a small sampling, uh, this is just kind of what Spotify pulled for me for this playlist. So I hope you all like it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you agree with, what you don't, what you like to see, what you don't. Uh, let me know what your guys' favorites are. Uh, let me know if you have anything that uh, maybe you have your own wrapped and you want to share uh, what you ended up with. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see everybody's different tastes of music. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> so the very uh, first thing that I've got here, and uh, hopefully I'm popping that up on the screen for y'all, uh, is the top artists, top songs, minutes listened, and then the top genre. So top genre for me is alternative metal, uh, which I think last year was actually new metal, and then the year before that was metalcore. So I kind of bounce around within that kind of genre. Uh, I'll get into everything else that I listen to, but for this video, I'm just going to strictly stick to uh, what I listened to this year on Spotify. So top artists here, I've got Falling in Reverse, I've always loved this band, but uh, their new music is really, really doing it for me. So <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Falling in Reverse, like a lot. Uh, second is my favorite band, actually, Shine Down. So not necessarily metal, definitely not hardcore, not heavy at all whatsoever, but I love them regardless. Uh, that band will always have a very special place in my heart. So favorite band, uh, not surprised this year to see them as number two. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised to even see them that high, but I think probably with the release of Planet Zero, that's probably the main reason why it was so high on the list still. So, <laughs> number two, Shine Down. Uh, number three, Bring Me the Horizon. Ollie Sykes, man. Ugh, gotta love that guy. He is just an absolute fucking genius. He is amazing. So, I love him, love his music. It's so different, always constantly changing, constantly doing new stuff. Very much the same as Ronnie Radke, which is one of the main reasons why I like Falling in Reverse so much as well, but Bring Me the Horizon. I listened a lot to, um, oh, geez, I can't remember the title of the album now. You'd think that I would, but it's the one that uh, Teardrops and Parasite Eve are on. Um, came out a few years ago, I think probably 2018, 2019. Um, Bring Me the Horizon, but I listen to that a lot this year, like a lot for some reason. So I like their new stuff, love Strangers, um, but yeah, for some reason that was on repeat a lot for me was that album. So whatever. Uh, four, Motionless and White. God, I love Motionless and White. 
I love them. Um, I think they're probably so high on this list too because they also came out with new music this year and it was just, ah, chef's kiss, just so good. So good. I love that. Uh, Scoring the End of the World, one of my favorite albums. Um, not reflected at all in this. Uh, Fall in Reverse definitely took the cake for <laughs> a lot of a lot of spots this year, but I uh, really, really, really enjoy uh, their new music as well. And then lastly, Asking Alexandria. Now, Am I biased because it's a namesake? I don't know, but <laughs> I really like them as well. I've um, seen them, I think, two or three times now in concert. They're great. I love them. Um, I, yeah, they didn't come out with any new music this year, um, but they did come out with some last year and the year before. Um, really, really, really liking that music. Really liking, um, and of course now I can't remember it either, um, but... Uh, it was the one that had anti-socialist and, um, you know, those those songs on it. So whatever that album was, I think, again, that one was probably released in 2018, 2019. Actually, probably 2019, 2020. Um, really, really, really liked that album as well. So that I was always listening to this year, too. So <laughs> good stuff. Um, yeah, top songs, you got them listed there. All pretty much from those artists. Um, yeah, Planet Zero was a good one. Really, really like that one. But yeah, Zombified. Not surprised that was my first one. Uh, yeah, like, I listened to that one a lot this year. <laughs> like, a lot this year. So, yeah, it was really good. Um, but yeah, Popular Monster, that's just a, a gold one. I always love that one, so I always come back to that. Uh, I also really, really enjoyed Planet Zero. Um, it was a little bit different for Shinedown. It was kind of a, more of a cohesive story this time. Um, I'm actually looking at right now on my uh, on my wall. I've got a signed copy of the little leaflet from the CD from Attention Attention. Um, like I said, <laughs> big fan of Shine Down, uh, but that that album was pretty good. Um, I would say this one was even better. Like uh, like no question, no argument at all whatsoever. So much better. Um, I think probably than anything they've done in quite some time. Um, they usually try and do, you know, some type uh, albums and things like that, but this one for Planet Zero was absolutely beyond fucking incredible. Um, like, just beyond. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved the story that it told. I loved all of the kind of like little interludes with, you know, the AI computer system kind of talking in the background and stuff like that. Um, yeah, really, really, really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, it was actually kind of funny too because I listened to a lot of uh, old music is what Spotify qualifies it as. Um, but I actually listened to uh, a lot of, uh, of old heavy rock as well. So the fact that that said that I listened to old music because I was listening to older, um, falling in reverse music was pretty funny to me. <laughs> Bring me the horizon. Uh, that one is the post human survival horror. Just so, so, so good. I am really, really looking forward to see what they're coming out with, uh, if y'all have listened to Strangers, that's the newest release that they did this year. Holy cow, I... Buddy. Every time. Every time. They're just bringing new stuff. They bring stuff that's different and new from usually what they always do, which I am always a fan of. I really appreciate when artists step a little bit outside of the comfort zone and do things differently. Um, I really cannot stand when artists just keep doing the same shit. He's really old, real quick. So, really looking forward to seeing what they're going to be releasing. I think we're probably going to be getting new music from them. Uh, maybe in, I think, early spring next year, um, I think. So, really looking forward to that. We'll probably uh, cover that on the channel here. Uh, and then also to Asking Alexandria. So, they've come out with two new albums. And I should know better. I should know this because I, I do. I really listen to these albums a lot quite a bit. Uh, so the one from 2019 was was Like a House on Fire. Oh, so good. I listened to that forever. Uh, that was my like running music forever. I was always listening to that. Um, yeah, that was, that was a really good album. <laughs> so good, in fact, that I brought it back around this year and was listening to it a lot this year as well. So 
I uh, really, really enjoyed that. And then last year, uh, kind of towards the end of last year, I believe, uh, they also released See What's on the Inside. And I really like that one too, but I think as an album, like a cohesive album, I really appreciate and really enjoyed uh, Like a House on Fire. I think that was like a little bit better. Um, See What's on the Inside, I think also too, it was one of those situations where the band released too much before the album. So by the time we got the album, I feel like it was one of those situations that there was quite a bit that was new, but there was still a lot that they'd already been playing either on Sirius XM or, you know, the radio stations and stuff like that. So, eh, you know, take, take it for, for what it's worth there. Um, but yeah, really, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at the, at the tracks on this one and I just, I still, I really enjoyed this one too. So there's that. Um, but yeah, like a house on fire, man, I don't know. It's just, I think it was just because it came out right around the panini and, you know, it just, it was just, you know, keeping me company during uh, those days of absolute insanity. So really, really, really enjoyed that one. But yeah, so that is my Spotify wrapped. Those are the top songs, top artists that I was listening to this year. Um, but again, like I said, every year, pretty much always within the rock realm, but uh, it changes a little bit here and there. So it just depends on what I'm in the mood for and uh, what's speaking to me that year. So this year, I guess it was alternative metal, which I don't know, but if that's what it says it is, then I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I said that I will be coming back at you with some new music, new releases. Uh, I actually have not listened to the new Slipknot album specifically because I knew that I wanted to do this channel and that I wanted to do a video like that for y'all. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to doing it. So, and uh, we'll give it a listen. I don't know, obviously, I think it's probably like, I don't know, it's a bit, uh, as far as music goes, I think it's probably 12, yeah, it's 12 songs. Obviously, we're not going to listen to all of them here. I'm not going to react to all of them. It's just going to be a boring-ass video for all of you guys. Um, but I do think that uh, grabbing some of like, the most popular ones, probably, and then I'll give it a listen before um, you know I do the video and just kind of give you guys my honest reaction and opinion about the album, because it's been a little bit since we've had a new Slipknot, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, I also think Metallica came out with some new music, so we'll see. I don't know. Celatica really isn't my style. Um, kind of more like the old school Metallica, but we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe that'll have to happen too. So I don't know. But expect that we're going to be doing things like release news. You know, talking about new release, kind of upcoming songs, albums, anticipated things for, you know, the coming months, years to come, and uh, we'll probably be doing some reaction videos, so if that's the type of content that you like, then stay tuned, because we'll definitely get some of that up here, and, uh, you know, if you guys want to do tags, if you want to do, you know, get to know me's, types like that, let me know. I'm a very long time watcher, listener, subscriber of YouTube, uh, first time creator, so I hope that this uh, is what you guys are looking for, and, uh, course, leave a like, follow, share, subscribe, you know, if you're uh, feeling the need. And uh, without further ado, I'll see y'all later. Bye.